What if you could detect breast cancer with your tears? Identify autism using AI and diagnose stomach illness by swallowing a robotic drone. Three mind-blowing advancements in health technology, it's technically possible. Hi, I'm Katie Linendahl, and I'm always on the hunt for the latest innovations in technology, especially the ones that can truly impact people's lives. And you'll find some of the most amazing gadgets and tech you never heard of in this series. So let's go. A big part of my world is emceeing incredible conferences. And one of my favorite events to host is the Edison Awards, bringing together some of the world's best inventors and game changers for two days in Fort Myers, Florida. But that said, let's count down my top three recent discoveries in healthcare discovered at the Edison Awards. And get ready to share your thoughts in the comments because I want to know, would you swallow a robotic pill that gives a live feed to your doctor? Number three, Aurea. What if your tears could detect breast cancer? Say what? 50% of women miss recommended screening mammograms. And a stat that I didn't realize, 89% of breast cancers occur in women that have no family history. I met one of the founders of Aria Tech in an elevator at the Edison Awards, and I was like, hey, literally, give me the elevator pitch. She did, and I was amazed. Aria is the first breast cancer testing kit powered by tears. Here's the process. Aria provides an easy to use, simple, and non-invasive at-home test kit. It just takes about five minutes. You send your sample to the lab, return shipping label included, and you receive your physician certified results in your dashboard. Then you schedule a clinical consultation that comes with every kit. And you might be saying, why tears? Well, I learned a lot about protein biomarkers that end up on the strip that are clear markers. And a biomarker is an objective test used in diagnosis. You might not know this, but one in eight women will develop invasive breast cancer in their lifetime. Ladies, let's be proactive. Number two, early point. What if detection of autism as early as 16 months could be discovered in as little as 15 minutes? Early point is an FDA authorized tool to aid clinician diagnosis and assessment, and it couldn't be easier. The two co-founders started working on this in the 90s and spent two decades getting this diagnostic aid to clinicians to its current state. So this is Early Point, and this is an FDA cleared medical device to aid in diagnosing early autism, ages 16 to 30 months of age. And it does so with an eye tracking technology. So a child would sit in front of this device and watch approximately 12 to 15 minutes of video. So we're measuring their looking behavior, how they view and interact with social scenes of engagement. And at the end of that 12 minutes, about an hour later, we provide a clinician with this report which provides a diagnostic classifier to let that clinician know is the presence of autism detected, and it quantifies that autism across three early point severity measures, the social disability, their verbal ability, and their nonverbal learning ability. So the million dollar question, how effective is it? 95.2% effective in results. And number one, okay, let's keep things going, the pill bot. Say you were having stomach issues, how would you feel about swallowing a robotic pill that could give your doctor a live feed? Meet the pill bot, or as they call it, a moving eyeball in the stomach. I was like, uh, yeah, hello, nobody is ready for that. But I was amused enough to listen, and I went from amused to intrigued to putting the pill bot on national television. This tiny little pill is a robot that you actually swallow. Hopefully by 2026, this will be in action. They are trying for FDA approval right now. A robotic pill camera that you swallow that allows your doctor to see your insides without having to leave home, have an uncomfortable appointment in the hospital, or any sedation. Kinda makes sense, right? Literally, the drone-like pillbot can be controlled remotely by a doctor, and you can think of it as an upgraded telemedicine appointment. And yes, the answer is the question, it eventually passes through your system, and I gotta tell you, the little device was so small, I ended up losing it after my TV segment. So sorry for the shortage of visuals. So question is, would you try out the PillBot, Aria? Do you have an interest in early point? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, we'd love for you to hit that like button or to subscribe to stay tuned for more dynamic tech innovations. I'm Katie Linnadal, stay tuned and don't give up the ship.